What's going on, fellow humans and resellers? It is I, James, redoptionagency.com. 20 plus years selling on eBay. Except for today, I didn't sell on eBay. <laughs> Damn, so much on eBay. I'm only about 50% of what I did all day yesterday, so. It's kind of lame. Actually, I'm under 50% of right now at 7.30 p.m. So, hopefully we'll have a nice little flood here for the next, what, six hours? Fingers crossed. I'm surprised no puppies have followed me yet. Adrian did some pulling, so we'll get to that. And I'm sure I've got a few more to pull. I know there's one Mr. Vern coming down. Where's Courtney? Still laying in her bed in the living room. There she is. There's the baby girl. My baby girl. She's a baby girl. All right, kiddos. You ready to get to work? All right, to your positions. <laughs> to your position, Vern. <laughs> to your position. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I knew if I didn't pet him long enough, he'd start walking. <laughs> All right, let's get this moving and see what's sold. See what goodies we are sending around the world. Da -da -da -da. First up, we've got this kids Pokemon shirt. How cute. It's from 2017. Pokemon sold for $10 heading to Arlington, Nebraska. Oh man. And uh, I had made a statement in one of my videos about uh, the eBay fees going up in April, but I just read it today. It's June. Uh, where they're going to be, the promotion items are going to be taken out of the whole amount, taxes and shipping and everything, which is r ridiculous, uh, instead of just the purchase price of the item. So that starts in June, because I had lowered my percentage way down. I'm like, I'm just going to live here now if they're taking more, but then I read up on it, and it's not till June, so I bumped it back up for now. And uh, I guess the new postage starts Monday, where they're raising things, and then I'm glad I don't send nothing pr pretty much big with the this new surcharges that's going on, man. That's going to kill people if they use uh, UPS, USPS. But it's almost like I had made this comment on Facebook that the Postal Service is trying to put themselves out of business because they're basically giving all their bigger items over 22 inches to UPS and FedEx, right? And every year, twice a year, they raise prices on the smalls. So eventually, you know, something like a $5 CD isn't, you know, it's already almost not worth the time. Uh, and if the prices keep going up, it's really not going to be worth, somebody's not going to pay for it, you know. So it's going to be over, you know, going to be cheaper to go get it into a, you know, a store somewhere. So I don't know. We will see. It's almost like with everything, it's almost everything's kind of changing again, you know, like a tide is being changed. So we've got to kind of just grow with that tide and you know whether that means you know scaling down or uh scaling down the or scaling up the price points or whatever the case may be you know you have to adjust make those little adjustments to uh keep your business going you know my business may not uh, sell you know cds under six seven dollars you know and say in the next two years just because of the way things are going so you never know so just kind of adjust as you as things go. But what one positive thing I think it's going to do, it's going to allow another company to come in and take over the shipping market. Kind of like the way these international companies have done uh, or companies have done with the international shipping where you send it to a hub and then they stick, you know, they divide it up like it should be. So it's the cheapest way possible. And then it goes overseas um, I could see another company, maybe even Amazon coming in and saying, you know, especially with all the trucks they have out on the streets now going, Hey, we'll take anybody's mail. Now here's the prices, et cetera, et cetera. You take it to an Amazon fulfillment center to drop it off. And it goes out from there. I don't know. Just speculating there, but, uh, it, it's kind of each year opens the door a little bit more for another company for a company. 
a new company, an old company, startup, whatever, to come in and say, hey, we can make some money here by taking over the shipping department, you know, in the country on smalls. So, and then what's, what's the post office going to do when they're laying people off because, you know, they have no mail coming in. So it's a long stretch right now talking about it, I think, but you, you never know. A company could pop up tomorrow. But uh, anyway, just my thoughts on the new fee increases that are happening. But like I said, I'm glad I don't sell anything really big over 22 inches. I mean, I might have a stereo here now and a stuffed plush. So I got to go in and readjust my prices on my plush. Um, and I've already raised the prices on everything else 10 cents to make up for the the rate, you know, the increase going up. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't really do UPS. Every once in a while, I'll have a huge item that is obviously cheaper on U UPS, but being in the middle of the country, it's not that often. So I will have to do my research to see what size and what weights uh, will I shift to U UPS on as opposed to the postal service. So anyway, we've got this cool World Cup soccer, the game vintage sweatshirt here going to Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts, and it's sold for $42. All right, all right, we got some New Balance men's walking shoes. And uh, these are going to Tacoma, Washington, and sold for $21. All right, we got some Cole Haan men's loafers here. Looks like they've been retreaded almost, right? I don't know. Anyway, uh, these sold for 20 bucks. I took an offer on them just because it was a slow day. So, um, and they're going to Woodhaven, Michigan. All right, we have some Nike PG, Paul George. I'm pretty sure I've been out of the game, shoe game for so long. I'm pretty sure the PG is for Paul George. Uh, sold for $17. He's been in the store for over two years. 17 bucks going to Portland, Oregon. All right, we got some cool kids sneakers here and uh sold for 9.50 and they're staying in the area going out to barnhart missouri next up we got this two cd set here sold for five dollars and going to lamont illinois next up anything goes broadway cast cd sold for four dollars headed to seattle washington all right joey and rory him CD sealed sold for five and a quarter. Going up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pomona Park, Florida. <laughs> I'm glad I don't let the fact that I have a hard time pronouncing a lot of freaking words bother me because there would be no way in hell somebody who had like an ego or whatever would sit there and embarrass themselves like I do <laughs> in a video day after day trying to pronounce stuff. And I'm not liking where this next one's at. <laughs> oh, God, this is going to get ugly. All right, so for seven bucks, headed to Mililani, Mililani, Hawaii. I don't know. You pronounce it. I don't know. Oh, my God. So pathetic, Jane. So pathetic. <laughs> Would it be Milani? Milani, maybe? That sounds familiar. Anyway, Madonna, Keep It Together, cassette single, headed over to England and sold for $6.29. <laughs> you know, I did, do notice consistently uh, when I have these lackluster sales days that international is just gone. I mean, I had that one just now for England, but that's it for this evening. And I don't even remember if I had any this morning, to be honest with you, because I don't even remember going in and printing up, I didn't go in and print up a scan form for my international on pirate ship. So I don't even remember doing any this morning. So I wonder what causes that on some days where there's just like, is it, you know, a Sunday over there or, or a day that everybody does something special? I don't know. Anyway, Shauna, I want you cassette. So for $5 headed to Elizabeth, New Jersey. 
1984 Ghostbusters trucker hat. Sold for $17.50, headed to Springfield, Missouri. All right, Veterans United Foundation. Sold for $5, headed to Greenville, Tennessee. Okay, Margay Racing. Six bucks, going to Watsonville, California. Going to Sotus, Michigan. If that's how it's pronounced. We got American Eagle Visor here. Sold for $9. And another one of those vintage you owe me shirts. This one is a trip to paradise, but then it's like Tan Tantara Resort, which is down in Lake of the Ozarks. And uh, it's an oversized, big, like sleeping shirt. Sold for $6, headed to Austin, Texas. All right, we got a kid's Rams jersey. Sold for seven bucks, headed to Camilla Rio. Camilla, Camilla Rio. California. All right, this uh, vinyl here. Oh, this is another one of those, uh, another piece of that Ireland music I picked up. Uh, this one sold for eight bucks, going to Stoneham, Massachusetts. The Amos Brothers on vinyl, four fifty, going to Decatur, Illinois. All righty, Noel Hill vinyl. May have been another one I picked up the same day I got that Ireland stuff. I'm thinking, but I'm not 100%. Uh, sold for $19. Headed to Stoneham, Massachusetts. Did somebody pay separate? Okay. Yep. Damn it. I didn't pay attention again. Could have shipped them together. Oh, well. High fi Summer holiday. All right, let's look in the picture, see if we see anything odd or weird. <laughs> I guess those are fishing boats, since why those cranes are there, maybe? I'm not sure. That's a cool building. <laughs> All right, uh, so for $4, headed to New Orleans. All right, we got this 78 here. So for $5, head to Oak, headed to Oak Park, California. Local 572. So for 10 bucks, headed to O'Fallon, Missouri. Got a rusty Wallace seat cushion bag thingy bobber here. So for seven bucks, going to Wisconsin. This is where crap's gonna start getting a pain in the ass. Like this is 14. So I gotta make sure whatever I put this in, I don't go over the 22 mark. Uh, the biggest mailer I have is a seven, number seven, and it doesn't fit in that. So I might have to look into invest in some bigger mailers or poly bags um, so that can easily stay underneath that 22 on just, I feel sorry for people with posters I mean, I haven't looked into, like, how much it costs to send a poster row through U UPS, but I know that they're, they're usually expensive on UPS, so I can't imagine, you know, paying a $15 surcharge on every poster you have to mail. Man, that would suck. But anyway, I need to find what I'm going to do with this now, because I don't have no thin boxes, so I'm going to have to invest in maybe some different styles, a lot of different styles, and what have you, but probably have to make something real quick. Nope, I had a, an Avon box here. So I'm, I'm glad I keep all these oddball boxes. So ship it in that and it's like 18, so it works out fine. Well, that is unfortunately it. You ready, girl? Vern already went upstairs, he had to go outside. You ready? your baby girl <laughs> all right thanks everybody for watching and uh i'll see you in the next video later